Unlike your baby's mother, I did not take the plan B. I'm pregnant. There was nothing fake about that. What up? What's up with you? Why are y'all quiet like that? What's up? You look nice. Where are you coming from? I just took a pregnancy test. Where Pregnanto. Hey, hey. <laughs> what you crying for? Huh? What's wrong? Huh? What's up? Talk to me. You gotta say something. Don't just be crying about something. What's going on with you? So what you gonna do about this? I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, you got things to do, right? You know that, right? You acting like it's the end of the world, huh? Stop crying. Let's talk about what we're gonna do. Let's find a solution to what's up. You gotta start being more careful. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> That's what you really, really, really brought. Your manager? You brought this to me? Well, we got. Who else am I supposed to take it to? I'm just saying, we got work to do. You're supposed to handle this off the rip. Right? We got photo shoots coming up. You in with your choreographer right now, learning your routines, which can be thrown up all over the place. I can't even believe Stevie. I just told him I'm pregnant. He's talking about photo shoots that's coming up. What is he trying to protect, my career, or is he trying to protect himself? Who baby is he? Who he that's not important who baby it is. How is that going to help the situation? I just want to know. I'm not going to tell you. Who is it? Why is you drilling me right now? Why are you? Why do you do like that? Because I can. No, you can't. I can. You can't. I can. But then we don't need to be having this conversation because you We're don't gonna need have, to be drilling me. Let's just have this conversation. No, chill, you don't chill, need to chill. be drilling me so right now. So you're going sentimental to straight raw on me. Because you're pissing me off. You know what I'm going through. You're still asking me, what the who gives a Whose baby is it? You really want to know? I ain't been f***ing about it for the last six months, but you. My stress level has been at a 20. Not even a 10, but like at a 20. Nia said she had some things to talk to me about, so I came to spend time with her in Kiami Camp. We both got some things we need to talk about. She doesn't even know all the things that have been going on in my life. I now have private school tuition, and Ray fired me. Like, he's fired you before? I've been or... fired three times. Oh, well, have you talked to him? I don't want to talk to him, because I don't know if I'm talking to Willie or if I'm talking to Ray J, if I'm talking to the drunk or if I'm talking to the sober person. I haven't seen Morgan in a minute, and I really need a friend right now. Dre's in Brazil, and I have something big going on in my life right now. And I know Morgan will be really supportive. But you're good, though, right? Like, you're feeling good, and you're good. I'm OK, for the most part. I mean, don't, I know you're gonna give me a crazy reaction, but I think I'm pregnant. But I haven't gotten a chance to talk to him about it yet. And that's something that's really, So, because, like, you know, like, I know. we're mothers and I know. Our, we, we know we're pregnant before the test exactly. even knows we're pregnant. Exactly, and it's like the same What's thing going, going on, on, like, when I was pregnant with Cam. So I'm like, why is this happening again? And it's like, I already know but like I don't want to, you know, like, you know how your cycle just comes and disappears, but comes back, and yep, yep. Pretty much told me what I needed to know. I'm happy for Nia, but she doesn't seem too excited herself. I know they're just starting to figure things out, and now she's pregnant. Did you take a pregnancy yes. test? I did. And what did it say? It was positive. So you said you think you're pregnant. Oh, you are pregnant. What do yeah, you mean? but I don't know. I feel like I'm not accepting it. Dre and I thought whenever I did 
finally have a baby, it would be his. But I had a baby, and he's not the father. And he's really good with Cam, and he's supportive. But I don't know if we're ready to have a baby. And with him being all the way in another country, I don't know how to tell him. And I don't know how he's going to react. We're not married. I don't know what, what would happen with us having a baby. And you so know how sick. that goes. Yeah. And he doesn't know about any of it. He's not here. Oh, well, where's he at? He's in Brazil right now. I know. I try not to spaz out and send evil text messages like, why the f haven't you called me or texted me all day? But Time I'm, difference, I'm, girl. I'm, I know. I'm dealing with it, though. But it's hard. You should definitely still try and tell him, like, FaceTime him, though. It's weird for me to do that over the phone. Don't be sad. I don't like feeling like this, though. Wow. Come what are we seat. having? I was hoping you could spare me a little bit of your time before you leave. Of course. Like, why you say spare? That's normal. Well, because, you know, I mean, lately we ain't been in a good place. Just keeping it real, you know? I'm glad Rashida said something to me because we really haven't had a minute to lay everything on the table. I've been trying not to even bump heads with her to stay away because I know that she's doing something that I'm not into right now. I don't feel like getting to a place where I don't want to be around. I don't know, I'd rather go ride a bike or find space. We got to be around each other, but sometimes I'll be like, what, do we need to take a break and go left and just sit down and figure out peace amongst one another? Is that what you, is that what you feeling like? You feeling like you want to take a break? Because I didn't know you really like take breaks in the mirrors. Like, I feel like it's like, <laughs> you work your shit out. Kirk and I have real issues, from his brother's heart transplant to his son's legal issues, but let's deal with it instead of running from it. I already offered a solution, my jewelry line, which is a slam dunk money maker. With the store situation, I look at it like, you know, at first you're like, yes, Rashida, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And like I said, I know shit happened, we're but now Bad just... timing is not saying no. I'm telling you, it's bad timing. It's too much on our plate. That is not gonna fly right now. To me, you not being a team player, you just thinking about and I feel like things not you being want, a team and player. it's really, and so it irritates the out of that. me. Where do we go? Like, what you want me to do? I want us to try to get to some kind of place because we're gonna have some other type of responsibilities going on. Yeah, that's exactly why I said no store right now. The timing ain't right. You don't need more. Well, timing is, <laughs> timing is never right. Um, to be honest with you, I I had went to the doctor yesterday, and um, I'm pregnant. Oh, who's that? Go check and see. Mom and dad are coming over. They flew in from Miami. They're coming to see their grandkids and also to touch base with me. Hi. How are you? I'm not in the most perfect situation. I left my life in Miami to move up here to New York so we can have this family together. The family that we both wanted. Jewels, he's back in custody. That's a lot of stress right there. It's a lot of stress. It's, it's a lot right. of very difficult. Right. You know, this isn't our first time, but this is the longest time. Right. And I'm holding in there. Yeah. Things aren't where I need them to be at this point. We're talking about almost three years now. There's certain aspects of a relationship that should be flowering at this point, and they're not. They're just simply not where I need them to be. And better news, great news, for me. Oh, I, I'm afraid to I hear just, this. Don't look at me no. like that. Yes, I'm going to tell you what you're I know what you're going to tell me. I got well, that can feeling. I share it with yeah, you? Yeah, I'll let you tell me, but I know. Oh, my goodness. This is a, Go a surprise going wrong already. All right. Because um, we've been through this before. Mm. OK, go ahead. <laughs> Are you trying to be mommy now? Yes, I am. <laughs> my mother is, is, is my mother, so. I guess she just knew. Mom and Dad, we're having a baby. I wish that Joelle's would just put the ring on your finger already, you know? I mean, after two kids, it's time. 
But I'm just worried about the stress that you're gonna have with three kids, because I know what I went through. Mm -hmm. I used to cry in my room a lot because I never had time for myself either. I had all the children, because I was working at the same time too, pregnant and all, big stomach, all the way to nine months, and, and give birth and then go back to work and figure who's gonna watch the kids and everything like that. That was hard. I fell in love and I just went with it. It was all there for me. And I feel now it's slipped away. Oh my God. I want you and Joelle to be together and do things together. Not like me and dad, Better than what we you know. Done. Trust and believe. With or without, I will make sure my kids are well taken care of. And I'm gonna make it work. If I had known Tara still had the feeling she had for me when she found out I was married to Amina, I never would have married Amina. Oh. I didn't know. Peter, is this over? I mean, I think so. She deserves better. I mean, I think it's over for all of us. I think I have to go and become a better person to even deserve either one of them. I have to go work on myself. Um, I'm too old to be acting like this and doing this, so. Well, I need to say something that is very, very, very important. Did I say this today? And um, I don't know, everyone, anyone who watched this season knows that I like to pull things out of my bra and slam them on tables. Yes, you do, baby. Bow. But you saw what we happened. We don't have a table right here, but there's something in my bra that I um, got to give to my husband. OK. Unlike your baby's mother, I did not take the plan B. I'm pregnant. There was nothing fake about that. Ain't nothing fake about that. This place that A1 and I have gotten to is really foreign, and I do not like it. Since we fell out, he's been staying at a hotel. We don't even see each other. He's been ignoring my text up until now. That's good. Hey. I really wanted you to come over here because I feel like all this has gone too far. You know what I'm saying? Like, our last argument was a total embarrassment to ourselves. We've never talked to each other like that. And the, what really irks me the most is that this stems from a rumor that K. Michelle made up. Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. I'll be mad enough to say what she said bothered me. I felt so mad that you could even think about believing something like that. So I'm going to look you in your eyes and tell you once and for all, me and Safari never had sex. Nothing ever happened between me and Safari. This is not true. I respect that. Finally, if I had just got a real answer like this in the first place, we could have avoided all this foolishness. It's about what you just did, to be honest. Like, look me in my eyes, look. No. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm human. I'd let it get to me. I'm up here tripping, trying to fight my brother. You know what I'm saying? Safari, rock star. Like, by the way, what's up with that? Like, you up there slapping high fives, BFFs. I'm just like. And when it got crazy, I had your back. You did? And I haven't talked to him since. I don't even know how you and old girl end up getting into it. I was really confused. But anybody, you know what I'm saying, who's gonna be disrespectful to my wife, I'm not working with him. I appreciate so, that. I cannot tell you how good it feels to finally be done with all this misunderstandings and all this not trusting each other so we can finally put this bull to bed. Well, I am happy to know that we are on the same page. And, you know, I love you. I don't want to be with nobody else. I want you home. And I just feel like, honestly, I somewhat have an explanation as to why my emotions have been everywhere. Yeah. A lot about to change. Having a 
baby has been something that A1 and I started talking about within the past year. A1 and I have been through a lot, and it really feels good to finally be back in a good place with each other. Who have you told? Nobody. I can't wait for you, you to tell me. You ain't told your mama. No, I have not told my mom. I want to tell my mama and my brother. So how do you think we should do it? How do you think we should tell them the news? I'm super excited about being a dad, but telling my family, it's a bit tricky. Lyrica ain't exactly on the favorite list of my mom, my brother, and his wife. They complain that she don't act like a sister and that she turning me Hollywood. But hopefully this good news can help everyone get past that. It's got to be like dinner. It's got to be like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, Bomb, loves, everybody loves me. I think we start there and then we see where that goes. Yeah. It took hours of hand-holding by executive producer Stefan Springman to get Stevie to agree to face Jocelyn. But with the possibility of a baby on the way, he could no longer ignore the situation. So. Uh, well, I just got some news, and uh, I'm trying to um, see if Remember. For sure. Hmm? Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk? Huh? We just did this, Stevie. Says yes. You did this when? You took it in front of me right now. You been with anybody else? Here you go again. I'm asking you a question. I'm just asking. You already did that to me before. Now you're asking I'm, I'm me just, to your baby again. I'm just asking you a question. Didn't I'm, you do that already? I'm like, look. So the, now you're going to. Now it's so now much, somebody else's you know, baby. Listen, can you just hear me out? I'm not trying to beef with you. You oh, asked me that question the first time I got pregnant. All right, but you ain't been, you know what I'm saying? I haven't been with anybody. No man. I've been with girls. What the f you want me to do? I didn't no, get me on, pregnant on myself. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Talk to you like that. Don't how? talk to me like that. You don't got to cuss at me. There should be some respect somewhere. That's where it should be. The respect that you should give the woman that you've been with for going on six years is not to question her about if this is I'm, your baby. No, the respect that you should give somebody who has been the kind of guy I've been for you is not to be dis, um, dis, dis defame my name on Instagram and all over social media. So you don't want to apologize to me? I'm not apologizing to you for anything. Okay. I've only done to you what you've done to okay, me. Cool. Well, you apologize to well, me, and I apologize to you. I'm going to just... apologize right. to you. Well, for... I feel the same way. All right, that's what it is. And we'll just go from there. Okay. I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to have it. I can't. I'm like three and a half months. Three that months? That baby's family has developed. I'm going to have my baby. Okay? Cool. So I said. Well, then, I, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I can, I can get my visitation rights. If I don't get an apology, then I'm just going to leave. Bye. You think that is cute what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You think that is cute. And you expect me to come in here and, and woo, be all whoop de doo No, I don't want you to be happy because yeah. I don't need you to help me take care of my baby, so you well, don't have to be happy at all. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You finally got what you want. Do you think that Tara got pregnant on purpose, Amina? Well, no. You don't get pregnant on purpose. It takes two people to get pregnant. But um, hiding it, for a long time, definitely on purpose. Clear. You have Peter, two kids already, you know Peter when you get pregnant. are very close. There's nothing even at this point that goes on with my body that he's not the first person to know. Okay. Even now. All right. I mean, let me ask you this. If you knew then that Tara Lies. was pregnant, would you have still gone through with the abortion? I probably would have kept the baby too because part of me having the abortion was Peter because he doesn't want any more kids and I was considering that. I want to be clear. I, I'm, I would never want to say to a woman, come on now, you know. The, the thing is, once you made that decision, I agree with, you know, yeah, I, I rock with you on that. Okay. You know what I mean? It's not all the way comfortable for me either. I mean, you were very upset when he brought up the vasectomy to you in the package that we just saw. Uh, and I know that you wanted more kids. So how did it feel knowing that Tara is going to be the last person to have one of Peter's children? Well, at the time, I, you know, I was upset, but I, I definitely overreacted, you know, especially because she's not the last person that has her, his what is, baby. Who, what does that mean? 
I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Wow. So, oh wow. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. I didn't want to say anything to the girls because I don't know for sure, but I wasn't not drinking at Spice's show because I was detoxing. For the past couple of weeks, I've just not been feeling good. I've been nauseous, tired. So today, I'm taking a test, and I have a good feeling it's a baby in there. Well, this test needs to hurry up, because I need to see right now. Yeah, I need to know, too. I think I am. I feel just bloated. I'm just tired. My breast just feels sore. It looks so good. <laughs> you ready to lose your body? Baby, I'm gonna bounce back like my mama. Speaking of her, you ain't even talk to your mama. And I ain't gonna talk to her. My mom and I have always had a complicated relationship. She sent me to juvie when I was in high school, judged me like crazy when I was dancing, and now that I'm grown, we still haven't found a way to get on the same page. When it comes to my mama, it's just me dealing with her and her attitude. My mama is not finna stress me out, especially if I'm pregnant, but it's like, I know at this point in time, if I am pregnant, I'm gonna need my mother. You gonna need a village if you're pregnant. You need some help, because I'm gonna be gone. I'm gonna be working somewhere. Sean was a first round pick when he joined the league back in 2006, but the last time he played an NBA game was about two years ago. He had some stumbles, but now he's making a run to get back in the game. You finna be gone. I'm finna have to finish planning the wedding by myself. I got a lot of music I gotta put out. I got a lot of videos I gotta put out. This is a lot. I'm gonna hold you down most definitely. I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of, you know, what you hustled up on. Oh, don't make me cry. You gotta cry. I love you. Too. <laughs> I need to see these results because I might be crying for nothing. <laughs> I'm scared to death. Prego. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I knew it. <laughs> oh. Girls with gold teeth, faithful don't cheat. Let me handcuff her to the bed like police. Too real for Twitter, man, she's so street. Check her timeline, you won't see no tweets. The last time my husband tried to wine and dine me, he gave me a gift that I wasn't exactly ready for. A damn pregnancy test. But guess what? I got something for Papoose that he will never forget. <laughs> what the hell is that? Kiss. Babe, what is that? Excuse me, your wife is here. Kiss. Okay, my bad. Mm hmm. Have what a seat. Have a seat. Thank you. A big box as a gift? That's something I like. Is that for me? Yep. But surprises? I really don't know. Can I open it today? Because I know how you are. You'll give me something. <laughs> like, oh, you can't open it until. Christmas or something no, weird like open that. it today. You love me? Yes, of course I do. How much? A whole lot of much. This much. Forever, ever, ever? Yeah. More than anything? What are you up to? Answer the question, buddy. More than everything. OK. You can open it. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he sees what I got in store. Wait a minute now. Oh, my. Okay. What is this? <laughs> Are you kidding? No. No, 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 no. Get up, 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 get up. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I love you so much. <laughs> Words can't describe how much I love her. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe this. Can y'all believe it? Can you believe it? Finally, we having a baby. Oh my God. We having a baby? Yes. <laughs> Put me down, silly. We having a baby? You didn't even get to read the card. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. <laughs> 
I know that this baby was the greatest gift that I could ever give this man. And even though I feel it wasn't the right time, you know, who could question God? So, here you go, babe. We have the baby! We have the baby! <laughs> oh my God. You know what's <laughs> Now, Kimbella and Joel, congratulations, you guys are married you. now. <laughs> There's a glow about you, I want to say. You look beautiful. <laughs> Is it just a bling? I mean, it, amongst other things. Come on, girl, come on. Give it to us. <laughs> she decided to stop taking birth control. Oh. And you know me, I'm, my joints is ready to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. He. It's a boy? It's time to oh, oh my gosh. You already know what it is? Congratulations. Thank you. All positive vibes for you guys. Thank you. OK. Thank you. I mean. So I just want to know, for all of us, I know everybody's wondering, is there any news you can share with us? Well, the IVF procedure went very well. Okay. Any day now, I could be telling you guys, like, oh, we're really? pregnant. <laughs> he took, I want sorry, you guys Pap, to... Sorry, no. Pap, sorry. <laughs> he literally took pictures with the ovaries. Yes. He took a picture with the ovaries. Hold on a second. How do you take selfies with the ovaries? Because he's crazy. <laughs> It took a few months there. They're literally every day for about a month, they're taking your blood every day. They're taking your temperature. They're okay. checking your uterus, your, your ovaries. They're checking. It's like a big commitment. Like everything. It's a lot. We so we now have an embryo, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So the doctor's on the phone like, yo, do y'all want to know what it is? I'm like, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've been through all this. Yeah, I've been waiting all this time. Yeah. And she like, no, no. So I want to know from y'all, how many of you guys think she should tell me oh. what it is? <laughs> That's my man, AK. Uh -uh. See, congratulations to y'all, and I'm learning a few things. I can't make no babies, you know what I'm saying? I'm sterile. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 but, I mean, it's a lot of baby talk this but... season. A lot of baby talk. <laughs> Men of Mondays is back, that's right. And just in case you miss it at any point on Monday nights, all you gotta do is check out Love & Hip Hop's YouTube page.